glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. You know, they're saying we're going to have snow here in about an hour in South Dakota. It'll be our first snow of the year. I am so surprised. I have to send my apologies. Yesterday, there was a magnitude 5.4 earthquake off the coast of Oregon. I don't know how I missed it. I was probably doing too much research about the uh, asteroid that the interplanetary group has acted, activated the Earth defense system because of 3i Atlas. You might want to jump over there and watch that video. Evidently, because it's been outgassing, um, started outgassing in August, and it shouldn't have been doing that because um, the area where it was at back in August was too far from the sun. It was too cold in that location for it to show that type of activity. And 10 fragments broke off, and um, there's speculation that they're worried that those 10 fragments could be a threat to Earth. So NASA and the Interplanetary Defense System, the World Planetary Defense System, was activated. And they've asked all the uh, professional astronomers and um, amateur astronomers to start watching the skies for the next two months. It's supposed to make its close approach here to Earth on December 19th. So I apologize. I was you know, doing all kinds of research trying to find some updated information about that. But everyone's been mum. There was this magnitude 5.4 earthquake yesterday at um, 7 a.m. local time along the Blanco um, Fracture Zone. Ten people said they did feel this earthquake, but it was uh, considered light shaking. That was from reports um, from Newport and um, Port Orford down over here. Yeah, they said they, they only felt light shaking. There was a foreshock um, before this earthquake, a magnitude 4.8, which occurred about 17 minutes before this 5.4. I've often talked about how any earthquake does have a 10% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. And there was. It was a, a 4.8. Both of the quakes were about 10 kilometers in depth or 6.2 miles. Here you can see the first earthquake, 4.8, and then the 5.4. No tsunami warning. Here we have the felt map for the 10 reports that were sent in. And it looks like um, they're by Portland, Beaverton. There was one report, light shaking, 541 kilometers. To the east, so that would be about 336 miles. I'm really surprised that they felt it. I don't doubt it. You know, many people, you know, are more earthquake um, sensitive than others. Here we have Coos Bay. One report from there, 470, uh, 447 kilometers. Excuse me. So that would be about 277 miles. Bandon, uh, one report from there. Crescent City, one report from there. 525 kilometers. So that would be about 326 miles. It's like, wow. But intensity level one, so that would, you know, be barely noticeable. Yeah, I'm surprised the strongest report came from close to uh, Portland. Did you feel this earthquake? Uh, put your comment down below if you did. Okay, we got another one here. Um, Hillsboro, intensity level one. Uh, Rockaway Beach, oh, intensity level one. And um, Willamima, intensity level one. This is just another reminder that people along uh, California and Oregon coast, especially those along the Cascadia subduction zone, need to be prepared for something much larger and know their evacuation plan for um, a tsunami. You know, it does have a history of past large earthquakes, such as the uh, 9.0 that occurred in 1700. You can see there's been a lot of earthquakes here along the Blanco Fracture Zone. And, you know, there was that one last year 
where they did uh, have a uh, tsunami warning that was put out for the entire uh, west coast of the United States. I believe that was a magnitude 7, something like that. Many of you might remember that earthquake. So did you feel this earthquake? And do you have a evacuation plan and are you prepared? Do you have large objects secured, you know, to the walls, bookcases, um, things removed above your bed that uh, could injure you if they, you know, fall during a large earthquake? Do you have um, what they call museum putty that um, attaches your knickknacks um, so they don't fall during an earthquake? Yeah, there's a lot of simple things you can do. You know, they have straps to bolt your flat screen TVs to the walls. You know, with the high cost of inflation, some of these items would be very expensive to replace. So that's something to think about when you're looking around your room. Um, different parts of your house, seeing what kind of damage you could have from a large earthquake. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.